It's 7 o'clock in the morning, and brewers at Iron Spike Railway City Brewery are making a fresh Pilsner beer. They are one of over 50 small brewers in Ontario. Unlike major brands, Iron Spike brews in small batches, with no sugar or preservatives added. It was almost identical. From their brewery in St. Thomas, they make a batch like this one every two days. It's the fastest their small brewery can make beer to meet demand from restaurants and pubs. But if you want to take a bottle home, it's not so easy. The only place you can get them is from the small shop attached to the brewery, where bottles are sold directly to customers. That's something that Railway City Vice President Paul Corvo hopes will change. If the government was to change some laws right now, I, I think for us it would be opening up boutique stores for craft beer. That, that would be the number one thing that I would push for right now. That would be a game changer for marketing microbrews, he says. But there are other simple ways the government can make life easier with small adjustments to the law. I, I can't even co-ship my beer with another craft beer. Uh, the beer store can do that. They, they can ship everyone's beer. But it's just crazy that I can't partner with a brewery from Ottawa or Toronto and, and share delivery routes. Corvo is part of an association of craft brewers who say their members provide local jobs and support the Ontario economy and that the government should make it easier for them to compete. Buy local, drink local. The key challenge is marketing. It costs over two and a half thousand dollars, plus a further couple hundred per location to list each product in the beer store. And all you get for that price is shelf space in a card like this. The beer store says it treats all suppliers equally, but many craft brewers feel shut out. The LCBO offers a wide range of craft beers, but increasingly they're asking brewers to put them in cans instead of bottles. That makes them more expensive to produce and some would say less authentic. But in spite of these obstacles, the Ontario craft brew industry has grown nearly three times in the last 10 years and now accounts for over 5% of the overall beer market. A lot of that growth is the result of the popularity of craft beer in pubs and restaurants like the Black Shire in London. I like micro brews because they taste excellent. But pub manager Sunita Bird says that as a business owner, it's not easy offering only micro brews. When you walk into a sports bar that sells mostly the bats, you see all the flashy TVs and all the fancy stuff. I mean, that all that stuff's coming from the beer companies. Um, it's been a and tough, tough road, to but she says that. the beer she serves has caught on. And, unless laws are changed, it's pubs like hers that will help the smallest brewers gain exposure. For Western News, I'm Jacob Kewen.